Hey guys, welcome to another video of Sin Football. My name is Aura and this is Sora. And today we are going to discuss a very interesting and very exciting news that recently happened in Indian football. That is that the Indian under 20 team, football team, defeated Argentina's under 20 team. It was a huge deal. It is a huge deal. Okay, and we are very happy for them. We are very happy for us as Indian fans. So regarding that. I have some questions for Saurabh and also he will be answering, we will be discussing the same thing as we do on a regular podcast. So Saurabh, what the fuck just happened? I don't know man, how like they were the 6th time world under 20 world champions. How is it even possible? I mean, that's for a bu- just a bunch of youngsters from a country where football isn't even big yet, as to say. So it was a really huge win, I think it should be a morale boost for the entire camp. And the AIFF is backing the boys really greatly. Like they are behind the boys all the time. They are like, this is going to be a great boost for the squad. And just to point out a few technicalities, the Argentina team had won the, as I said, as I mentioned earlier, the Under 20 World Cup six times. They were managed by Lionel Scaloni, not Messi, Lionel Scaloni, and Pablo Aymar, who was the midfielder for Pablo Aymar. I think he was. Messi's idol, I think, na? He, he, he was the yeah, he was midfielder for Argentina and Messi's idol. Yeah. So and they are going to manage the senior team, the senior team on an interim level. Because as we all know, Sampaoli is sacked or he has left mutually, we don't know that, but let's say he's <coughs> sacked. So for such a good uh, so for such good managers, such a good team, such good history. For just a bunch of Indian youngsters to beat them, it was a huge, huge deal. And uh, another technicality I want to point out is they were down to ten men after our striker Jada was forced. Yeah. To. Yeah, that was forced out of the field because of the red card, and they managed to keep, like, uh, like to keep the Argentinian strikers at bay. And we all know how Argentinian strikers and midfield is. So, they managed to keep the Argentinian midfield and strikers at bay for like, what, 30 yeah. minutes? I mean... That was really, really impressive. Really impressive and as we all know, Indian goalkeepers are really good. And I think they are really good and as our youth is showing, we can really show some... And it's the under-20 thing, they are the future actually. They are know? the future. So, are, yeah. after, after like 4 or 5 years, they are going to be the senior team. So, I am really happy, I am really excited for what's going to happen next. Okay, so us. let me break down one thing. <laughs> okay, as you might have seen on our first podcast, I am a huge and vocal critic of Indian football. Okay, so we are happy, right? They defeated Argentina, everything happened. Tell me one thing, now what? Because, because the same thing happened when India won the Intercontinental Cup and Sunil Chetri, you know, he made yeah. their viral video and what happened after that? The AIFF was not allowed to send the team to the Asian Games. What now? Don't you think like something similar will happen? Because this is India, come on, you know? It happens, dude. Like, do you think, is it really a jump? It's really a foundation to build on something or it's another false dawn? People are really going to criticize the boys and our team anyway. No, the team is okay. I have no problem with the team. I have problem with the system. Okay, the system of, which of, is governing yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. They are going to criticize them. They are going to be like, oh, they are just an under-20 team. Or Argentina would be playing a B or C or any team. Exactly. Even if Lionel Messi was playing in that team, they would still criticize them. So I think as fans, <laughs> yeah, we know I agree. Yeah, 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 they are agree. going to push up. Anything except for crit- uh, cricket, they are going to push it down. Let it be tennis, let it be anything, let it be basketball, let it be anything. They are going to push it down. So as fans, I think we should be really vocal. We should be vocal on social media. We should flood them. We should flood the system that works. And that uh, prohibits a team from going to, even if they lose every match that they play, yeah. we are going to watch every match that's being telecasted or that's going to be played in a city. And I can speak for everyone because one play from Sunil Chetri brought all the Mumbaikers. So I think, 
I think that's this, yeah. that's a pretty big proof for how uh, passionate we are for our football. And you can also say that that impacted the under 20 team as well. Yeah. You know, if an icon of Indian football is you know literally pleading everyone to come to the stadium and watch us, so why not the under 20 team? We do something. And imagine, like suppose you are the you are one of the player of the under 20 team. I am one of the player of the under 20 team. We just defeated freaking Argentina. All right. Imagine how elated we feel right now. You know, no matter like we got defeated by some other countries, that's okay. But we freaking defeated Lionel Messi's Argentina. All right. I think that should be recognized. But that is not being recognized. You know why? As we speak right now, nothing is being spoken of them. Kuch nahi hai. There is nothing on the internet. You Except, really have to yeah. scourge the internet to find exactly. this. Okay. Exactly. What happened that they, you know, they defeated Argentina. Yeah, 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 then what? It died down. And we were back to scrolling to our Instagram page, to our Facebook page. What's going on today? What's going on No one gives a fuck about under-20 football. I know it might hurt you. That's the fucking truth. That's my point of view. I don't know if I'm wrong, I'm right, but that's my view. Because this is what I'm looking at right now. Okay? But I think it should change. And I think as fans, we are doing our part. You might call us we are being biased or anything, but at least we are doing our part. We are putting our voice, you know, outside. And if you are also like a fan of the game, you know, do it. Pick a fucking camera and, you know, just put your voice. Koi to sunega, you're just one retweet away from your voice to reach someone in friendship, you know. Who knows, yeah? Do your part. That's what I'm saying, you know. And we just, uh, we are not making these videos to make money. We want, Absolutely. We want Absolutely. our content to be heard by just one fan or one person who, who, is, who would be with us and be vocal with us, I think. So, uh, as you mentioned, like, this is died down. I, I'm not even saying it's going to die down. This news has died down right now. So, this shouldn't happen because as we speak, People are talking about our loss to England in the cricket world. Like a exactly. team which has lost is getting more fame than a team which has won. And, defeated, and defeated a world champion, world champion. remember. <laughs> I mean, this is no small feat. Did yeah. you look at that free kick? Come on. Yeah, that was the world class. That was really world class. So, I'm, I, I mean, we are really concerned and we've, we won't stop. We won't stop now. We won't stop after ISL. We will keep, uh, you know, posting and being vocal. We, we, we will just be vocal and we will just be as vibrant as we are now. Because we really like Indian football and we want this under 20. I will call them champs because they are champs. They are champs. They are champs. Even if they had scored one goal against Argentina, I would have called them champs. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. they, uh, without any backing, without any media following them around, they have done this. So I really think after four years, I'm going to back. I want these guys to be leading us. I really think that will be great. What is hopefully, it? hopefully, I think that will happen. That should happen. And I think five years down the line, we'll come back to this video and we'll see, damn, we are right. So that was guys, today's video. And thank you very much to the under 20 team for making us so proud. Congratulations. We, congratulations. we are really, we are really happy for you. We really celebrate it. So. And on behalf of all the fans of Indian football, and from we, everyone at office, we wish, you, wish you all the luck in the world to grow this game and be the best in the world and keep defeating not only Argentina, whoever comes, Brazil, why not? Brazil, why England, not? Spain, why not? why not? You can, you know. So thank you so much and also to the people who are watching us, who have liked our podcast so far, we have liked, liked our videos so far. We are making different kinds of videos, you know, so stay tuned with us and we'll see you until next time. This is Saurabh, this is Saurabh. Thank you very much.